tell me is it whack up in the air Rappers scattered off the gear I can map him, get the yeah, ears like a tracker Get distracted, send him back like in the mail Not a fraction of them real Catch him lack and run the drill Bro, running through the shit like a motherfucking day Oh, this recording Half way there. Last truck coming in. Hey guys, just an update. The slab is going in. The guys aren't mucking around. It's almost done. So they got the pump truck here, the big bloody cement mixer, and the slab is all looking nice and fresh. But yeah, super keen. There's going to be a massive shed going in here uh, with a couple of hoists and it's some exciting things happening. You'll find out more about that soon. But I'm not sure when this video is going to come out, but when it does, I'm not sure what you know, what you don't know. But yeah, this is going to be a long-term one because I'm going to film each process and then make one video out of it. So obviously super excited. Got to go to work now, um, but dad's here taking control of things. He's supervisor on duty. Uh, about to head out to Friday Night Drift tonight, so hope you guys are having a good day. Just on the Orby. Looking pretty good. Just about finished packing up. Slab's nearly done. Right. Beautiful. Very nice. All right, just an update. The shed's here. Old mate took like a couple of hours to unload off his truck. I don't know why it took him so long, but we've got the roller doors and all this bloody steel. It's like the biggest flat pack kit you could possibly get. Um, there's a bit of everything here. It's gonna be fun figuring that out. Legit, so much steel. Um, but that's super exciting. And there's about a million bolts and stuff in there. Um, going to start this. Like, look how many washers that is. Surely there's gonna be leftovers. But I'm gonna start this in a couple of days on the weekend. And yeah, it's bloody exciting. Don't really have a proper game plan. There is an instruction manual that I haven't looked at yet, but that's a lot of sheets. And we're gonna put it all together and stand it up and bolt it down. There's the roller doors. Obviously, um, yeah, I'm not gonna have like, I'm not gonna have heaps of time to work on this, but I'm gonna try and get it up as fast as possible. Luckily, Dad's coming down. He's gonna be like the leading hand of the project and then got a heap of mates that are keen as to give a hand too thanks to you guys so yeah i'm gonna do some cool time lapses on us building the shed which is gonna look sick righty -o. so today is the day we're making a start we've got the scissor lift here that steven let us borrow next door neighbor what a legend and we've started to mark out where we're gonna put the shed so First base steps are in. I got a new water tank as well. Um, it got dropped off the other day, second hand one. Good price though. It's a 10,000 litre. I've just got to climb in there and get the um, stuff out the bottom. Give it a clean. Give it a clean, you reckon? Yeah. Shit, yeah. Cool. That's pretty cool. <laughs> it's actually like, you could live in there. There's a fair bit of space. And surprisingly, <laughs> I accidentally got one exactly the same as my other tank. <laughs> 
So you're gonna have to put a concrete slab down here at some stage and um, stand this tank up right in the corner here. Be out of the way. And then I can collect all the rain off the top of the shed. Uh, yeah. So we're gonna do um, the brackets in the corners and then build the portal, they call it. Build it here on the ground and then stand it up. Use a scissor lift and yeah, bolt it down. So we just laid out these um, beams here, which is the portal. It's called a portal, sounds pretty legit. And um, it doesn't look like it's gonna be very tall, but we just stood up one of those beams and it is bloody high, like higher than the other shed. It's absolutely huge, which is sick. I'm gonna do a couple of time lapses now, so enjoy some nice speed while we take forever to build it, <laughs> but it'll be nice and fast for you guys. Okay guys, just an update. Dad's been down here all day while I've been at work and he's put up most of these on his own, like far out. It's hard work. Just um, helping him finish off the last few, but look how bloody high the thing is. Holy shit. Like I knew it was gonna be tall, but that's mega tall. It's gonna be taller than the other shit. It's gonna be nuts. Just imagine driving in here with your car Roller door comes up, drive in here, car hoist in the middle, and then pallet racking at the back for storage. It's gonna be gnarly. Just gotta get some new batteries for this thing because it's done. Batteries are dead. Oh yeah. I think Dad's pretty wrecked. He's been smashing it out. I'm stuffed. He's stuffed. <laughs> uh, he's done. So we only got two more. <laughs> only got two more to go. Wait, it's crazy though, when they're on the ground, they look super small. Like, that doesn't look very tall. And then you stand it up. Bloody huge. Yeah, getting super pumped. The walls are just... Once these poles are up and then the, the sides are on, it's gonna look like it's pretty much all done, but there's a lot to go. <laughs> the sheeting's gonna take a long time. All right, so we're three days in. I haven't been doing as much as I want to do, but Dad's been doing most of it because I've been working, obviously. But check out the progress. That's a big shed. Like, far out. Look how high this is. I don't know if you can see the perspective from the camera, but that's like bloody high. <laughs> oh, shit. Um, but yeah, it's coming together really well. There's been a heap of times where um, it took us a while to figure out which piece goes where because like even just these rails on the side, there's only certain ones have to go in certain places and they've all got the same um, number on them. So it's hard to figure out. You have to measure them and oh, it's been a little bit of a mish, but it's coming together really nicely. Got the scissor lift, got some new batteries in it now. Thanks to Steven, got that sorted. And um, yeah, we put the first beam up yesterday, Arvo. <laughs> it's freaking insane, eh? So, yeah, gonna crack on and get some more done today. But yeah, massive thanks to that. He's, he's smashing it. I think he's pretty wrecked. He's going home, the Savo, and then we're gonna start again next week. But, it's a big job. <laughs> big, big job. It's coming together nicely though. What do you reckon? Are you wrecked? Yeah, mate. Slowly. Slowly. Slowly get together. Yeah. Hopefully before Christmas. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's the plan. So I'm hoping to get this, well, we're hoping to get this all done before Christmas. So that's our deadline. Um, if it doesn't happen, it's not the end of the world, but it'd be nice to have it all assembled. There's still <coughs> heaps of stuff that's gonna take like a long time. Um, like pallet racking and hoists and stuff like that, but to get it and the power and plumbing and whatnot There's heaps. There's so much if you really thought about it. The list goes on and on I didn't say which Christmas <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Yeah, that's true. <laughs> um, but to get like the roof on and the walls on and have it as a shed where you can store stuff in there, if that's done by Christmas, I'll be pretty happy. That'll be pretty cool. <laughs> you don't reckon? No. Nah. Don't reckon? As long as we get the roof on and the sides on, the, the roller doors and shit are going to take a lot. Oh, yeah. yeah. That, that's a lot of mucking around. Oh, yeah. A lot of mucking around. Mm. Yeah. That's right. As long as we make some progress each day, I guess. <laughs> But yeah, I'll um, give you another update once we get some more done. Tell me, is it wake up in the air? Rapper scattered off the gear. I can map him, get yeah, the air. It's like a tracker, get distracted, send him back like in the mail. Not a fraction of them real. Catch him lacking, run the drill. Run. Running through the shit like a motherfucking day job. Y'all need a fucking day job. This big boy business and you bitches poly made. So rap shit is under me and two y'all that is paid off. These bitches need a break off. I done list some shit I know I'm never gonna forget. I might tell it to my children when they really with the shit. I ain't known for what I get. I'm known for everything I get. That's why my album... Alright, so just an update, it's been one week since we've been working on the shed and we've just been out here today getting stuck back into it and we got some of the roof panels on, probably half the roof is done, check it out, it's starting to take shape. So it's super floppy um, for ages. Yeah, the whole frame's been floppy as for ages, but since we got pretty much most of the exoskeleton on, it's strengthened it up heaps, which is nice because it was a bit worrying when it was a bit floppy, you know. Don't want it to all fall over. It did fall over a couple of times, but not like shit loads of it, just a couple of uprights. Ah, uh, yeah, but we got the roof. Half the roof is now attached. It's got to do this half and then look out. These parts are a bit more technical, but it'll work out um, all these because there's doors on the front. So we're getting less and less parts in our parts pile. And yeah, the sun's gone away now, so it's a bit nice. Nice and cooler in the other way, which is good. But um, let's do a bit more. Small progress, but it's coming together. So today, we got the roof on. And we had a little um, uh, a little mishap where we were trying to figure out what's going on because we're missing like a heap of beams. But this top beam we figured out on this front face here has to come off and then we're going to put it on that back wall there in the center. But anyway, the roof's on, which looks freaking cool. It's starting to look like an actual structure now instead of just um, bits here and there. So we'll take the beam off the front there. Oh, point. We'll take this beam off here and it goes in the center here. Put that in. We still got to do these. There's a couple of beams that go across there. And then the front is quite detailed because, yeah, it's got the roller doors. So that's going to take a little while. Once all the sides are on, then we'll be starting to do the sheeting, which is pretty gnarly. Um, just put a couple of sheets up and see how long it takes. Um, apparently that's the long part, but it's coming together and I'm super pumped to have another shed. Um, pretty lucky, pretty fortunate. Like, if you can see how high that is, the thing's a monster. So it's gonna be pretty cool. Get a hoist in there, you know, kind of sick. Um, but yeah, I'll show you when we continue on it tomorrow. Came up pop a fucking album of the year, my circle swore, but my homies know I die for them. Girls know I ride for them. Fam, good, I manifest the day when we all ride for us. Brothers face the judge and need a statement on my life on this protocol. We living by the code, that's the life on them. Yeah. Motherfucker, that's the life on them. Hey, 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 yeah. Now I'm the elephant addressed in every room. I know the sky is not the limit. Hit the wall up on the morning. Nowadays I speak less and feel more on the Alrighty, so just gonna do a quick little update. Um, show you where we're up to with the shed. Got little Lorenzo here. Say hey to everyone. Say hello. <laughs> um, so this is Enzo, he's almost three months old now. 
and yeah, a lot's been going on since this episode started, but still a lot to go. Probably going to be like a year old by the time the shed's done, but he's coming down to check it out. Granddad's down here working on the shed. You can hear the scissor lift going off. Let's go check it out, eh? Comfy. Got this cool little, got this cool little hat. I think it's pretty comfy in there. This is the first time I've worn this thing. Let's check out the shed so far. So this is where we're at. Got a couple of roller doors up there. Front section on. Just got to finish off this front and then the roof as well. And we're good. Hey. What's up? <laughs> That's pretty cool. Pretty cool, eh? Look at his hat. <laughs> I wonder if he can see ya. Is he looking up there? He's not looking up there. I was bending my back. How are you doing? So, it's um, it's a big shed, huge shed. That hoist is bolted down. There's another blue one here that's gonna go in this middle section. So we have two hoists, and then we're gonna have the pallet racking. A bit noisy actually and then we're gonna have a pallet racking down the back here but yeah gonna cut to some more time lapses hopefully we get all this done soon Shrooms take control of your emotions for they troll all over you I seen it come up way too crazy I just wave them watch them go they either trying to throw me shade or I just give them watch them grow no I ain't playing I got time for everybody that I know until they shoot over their heads don't make it further than they homes this I leave it in the past since I let all of it go I feel like I ain't from the space but this ain't Rick and Morty show I cannot ask for no one help because this world is so alone they either ask me for a low or try and book me for a show try my size on for a day you wouldn't make it to the morning you can take me as I am or fucking take me to the morgue boy this 2020 flow, my shit, it's time to play the role of fucking crowning the awards. I've been a realist from the goal in Zoom.
Okay, guys, this brings us to the end of the Big Shed episode. I can't believe this has been such crazy adventure, eh? Like, when we first got the shed, I thought, oh, yeah, we'll get it done in, like, one or two months. It has been seven months since me and Dad first started building the shed. From that slab going down to now, we have the shed with a roof on it. It's all sealed. We've got two hoists inside, and it's ready to use. Um, I've just got to wire up. There's still a lot to do, but I'm going to wrap it up here because otherwise it's going to go on forever because the next things that are going to happen are going to be a slow progress, even though this has been super slow, uh, like painting the floor, doing the wiring for the electronics, the plumbing, all the services and everything, trimming off all the edges, doing the gutters. I've got to do a slab for the water tank. There's a lot of stuff still to do, a lot of drainage. Um, just keeps coming to me as I'm thinking about it. But... I'm gonna leave this episode here because I feel like it's at a good stage and I'm super happy. I'm so freaking grateful for dad um, coming down like three days a week, every couple of weeks to help me out because I was working flat out at that time and I didn't have much time to do it myself. He done shit loads of this on his own and he always does that, eh? He, if it's a two-man job, he finds a way of doing it with one man. And when it came to, when he wasn't available and it came to the roof and I wanted to get the roof done, I took his same um, same attitude towards the job and I put the roof on by myself. I was able to do it safely. It wasn't too crazy. Um, and yeah, it's just, it feels good when you do it on your own. But... Man, it was great to have help from Xavier, you're a legend, like always around here helping out. Give him a call, he's freaking like at the gate before I get off the phone. Luke, um, that drives the RX-8, you would have seen on the episodes. Thank you, man, like I appreciate it. You drove all the way down from Brisbane to give me a hand. And everyone else that was involved, like thank you guys, you know who you are. Appreciate it so much. And man, there's some crazy shit that's going to happen in this new shed. Like, I've got big plans, big dreams but money's in the way at the moment so um and then also massive thank you to you guys for commenting tips and tricks along the way like far out gained so much knowledge on this build and yeah i appreciate you guys so much for chipping in and sharing your experience with me definitely helps out so much more than you guys know and yeah same with all the comments on car stuff and that like i really appreciate it. it's so helpful like it's sick and yeah if you want to stay up to date with the progress of the shed in the future because there's a lot of stuff to happen definitely check out my instagram it's just james nolan check that out because i i post a lot of stories about it whenever i'm working on it and you can keep up to date that way if you're not that worried about it then yeah just keep enjoying the car videos and there's going to be plenty more to come i've been rambling on for a bit here so i'm going to wrap it up appreciate you guys for always um, supporting me on my journey um, and then giving me help along the way. Hopefully I can help you guys as well. If you're enjoying these videos, do me a favor and share these videos with your friends or tell someone, get your friends involved and get them to hit that subscribe button. Make sure you guys hit the like, drop a comment and I'll see you guys on the next video. One other thing, massive shout out to Jay, the legend. He's donated his old gimbal to me so I can use my freaking G7X camera on it and it is so freaking cool. Thank you so much, Jay. Appreciate you, man. Like, that's the nicest gift anyone's ever gotten me. Everyone go check out his channel. I'll link it down below. He's done the intro and helped me out a bunch of other edits on the channel. Check it out.